Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a follow-up video to a previous video that I've done uh, on how to import SVG graphics. And in this video, uh, I show you kind of how to import SVG graphics. And we imported two, two uh, SVG graphics, one straight download from Google. And it came in with the colors. But when I saved... Um, this image, this image from Adobe Illustrator, I saved it as an SVG and I imported it into um, Blender. It came in all black and that was not a big deal. I colored everything. I started to color everything and it was just like five items. So it's not a big deal. I colored the, the, the uh, clouds and everything until we got everything back to color. Uh, again, it was one, two, three, four, five, I had five different items. So it wasn't really a big deal. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to um, import the SVG graphics with the color information. And it does, it has nothing to do with Blender. It's, it has to do with how you export the SVG. Um, again, in a previous video, we um, imported some SVG graphics to add a glow effect. And I and here's the here's the stuff in in Adobe Illustrator. Um, wait a minute. Here we go. Here's the here's the actual logo in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, but what I don't show you is, of course, that it came in uh, black. I just had to you know add the color. And so what I'd like to do is open up this exact file from Adobe Illustrator. This is it. And it's got color. And it's got color. And it is a, an SVG. It's already an SVG. I have it saved in the desktop. So this is a brand new 2D animation scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import it. Go to File, Import, SVG. Um, go, to my, go to my desktop, and there it is, Wow Neon, SVG, import it. And it comes in very, very tiny, as I explained in the other video. There it is. I just select it. I can scale it and rotate it in the X, oh, about 90 degrees. Not too much, 90. And... Go ahead and scale it a little bit more. Well, before I do, we're going to uh, set the origin origin to geometry, scale it, and then move it to the side. This is how it came in. It's all black. It's missing color. Uh, it does, when you go and look in the, into the material property, there is an SVG material, but it's all black. And so what I'd like to do is go back to Illustrator and export um, export it in a different way. Look, check this out. We're going to go to export, export as. And we're going to export, we're going to do, let's, uh, I'm on the desktop, we're going to just call it color. Uh, SVG, export. And then in here in the SVG options, we're going to go from internal SCSS to presentation attributes. Uh, and in the images, if you have any images, we're going to go from preserve to embed. And then we're going to leave the objects as minimal, decimal at two, and then minify. And if the responsive is clicked on, you can click it off. There is no, no reason to keep that on. And say OK. And so I've exported as a presentation. Go back to um, Blender. Let's say import SVG. Here's a new one. Import it. And uh, let's uh, select it. It's so tiny. Here's the color one. I'm going to select all of them. There they are. And then I'm going to hit hit the, the period key on my numpad to look at that. And then check this out. It came in with the color. Let me just select everything and rotate it. 
about 90 degrees and scale it scale it even a little bit more and I just want to I just want to put it right next to this one so you can compare uh, this came in already with the color and if we look at the materials and it's got that SVG material but now it's the right color at least so uh, if you just do a straight straight output to SVG uh, it's not going to carry the materials but if you export uh, as a presentation so let me go back to Adobe Illustrator and we're going to export as SVG and then here in the SVG options uh, just click on presentation attributes if there's any images we need to embed them and objects I think we just kept it as uh, minimal and then that's it and you should have SVGs with color uh, with the color information Hey guys, I, I hope that uh, this was helpful and if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.